Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today I have another guest post from Vijay Ratanam. He is a sound designer in India. We've done a few videos before and they will be linked in the description below. But in this video, we'll be looking at uh, some ways that you can record or edit audio uh, in layers within the same track. And I think this is a really interesting way of working if you have a very strict template for your film edit or uh, you know, you want to keep the number of tracks down, but you want lots of flexibility uh, within a track. This is a really cool way of working. So enjoy the video. Hello, everyone. So what I'm going to show you is uh, a custom action that I wrote, which could be of a lot of use for a lot of people. Reaper has a free item positioning uh, and I'm sure everybody will know. So one track can have multiple items in it. Uh, what I'm about to show you is a little bit different uh, than that. It's basically uh, what I call, I call it layered editing mode or layered recording mode. So let me show you what I'm uh, talking about. So let me take this sound. So now this sound is here. Uh, let's say I want to layer more uh, items in uh, for this sound. So I hit a custom action. And now I can have another one of those here. And you see, now it has uh, two items on the same uh, track. And it's not free item positioning. Um, the only thing that you have to do is you have to make sure trim content behind media editing media items when editing should be off, uh, then you can uh, move them around freely, um, and fade them, do what kind, whatever kind of edits you want. Um, in fact, you can have more layers, um, uh, some more if you want. You can keep layering it as, as much as you want. And when you're done, and when you decide, yeah, this is what I want, so you can just glue it, and it will become one single item, uh, but you cannot go back. If you still want to have control over all of them, what you can do is you can make that into a sub-project. Then uh, that will still, you will still have control over the indi individual files. Uh, but in this, in the main, in your main project, it is one track. But if you can, if you open the sub-project, you still have control over the individual items. Uh, so these are the two ways that you can make use of this uh, action. Also, this can be useful for people who are recording as well. So uh, I'm still in layered editing mode. So let's say I uh, record on a track and I punch in uh, and let's say I recorded something and let's say I want to have another one. So I can just punch in in the same place again uh, and when I punch out, you will see two of these items in the same track. And they both will play. It's not like different takes. I'm not recording different takes. Uh, I'm recording different items, completely different items. Uh, you can have a different plugin on this uh, for take effects. You can have another plugin on this for take effects. You can have completely different uh, EQ settings, uh, whatever you want. If you see now in this item has a different EQ, they both have different volumes um, and you can you can glue them all together and it becomes one single file. Uh, or as I showed earlier, you can make them into a sub project. Uh, so you still have control over the individual items. Custom record layers with auto crossfades off. So basically um, it's options. New recording creates new media items in separate lanes. Uh, disable auto crossfades, disable auto crossfade on split. Uh, now to go back on to the typical uh, working method, I have another custom action, set record mode to tape style with crossfade on. Uh, so new recording trims existing behind um, new recording, and that's tape mode, and then enable auto crossfade on split options enable auto crossfades. Um, so this is what I'm doing. It will allow me to have multiple items uh, in the same track. You know, it's useful for sound design work and I'm sure 
uh, other people can find some other uses for it. I hope this will be of use to some people. Thank you very much. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to VJ for sharing this tip with us. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. Support the Reaper Blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.